is breaking news from the Fox 59 newsroom. And first at four starts with that breaking news on the east side. That's where Indiana State Police say a suspect was shot by a trooper. We know the trooper is OK and the suspect is in the hospital. Thanks for joining us. I'm Aliyah Black and I'm Dan Spieler. Nick is off tonight. It's the second time this week that a trooper has shot a suspect on the city's east side. Today's incident started along 34th and Franklin Street. Our Jesse Wells is live there on the scene with what he's learned about what happened. Jesse, Jesse, what do we know? which took place here in the road behind me, started with a simple traffic stop, which then turned into a short foot pursuit. Fortunately, no troopers were hurt during that shooting, and the suspect is expected to survive. Around 11 o'clock this morning, two troopers with the Indiana State Police All Crime Police Squad tried to pull over a car in a neighborhood near 34th and Franklin when the traffic stop turned violent. During that traffic stop, one of the people in the car bailed out on foot. Uh, the troopers uh, pursued the, the person on foot. Uh, and at some point during that foot pursuit, one of the two troopers involved fired shots. Sergeant John Perrine says officers provided medical aid to the suspect who was taken to the hospital with what appears to be non-life-threatening injuries. State police claim they did recover a firearm belonging to the suspect, but couldn't say if he either pointed that weapon or fired at police. The shooting marks the second time state troopers have been involved in a police shooting in Indianapolis this week. State police say that illustrates how every encounter with the public is unique and potentially dangerous. Every incident that we deal with is different. They all have different outcomes and they all have different aspects. And, and this incident is not connected to the one we had earlier in the week. Uh, not the same type of investigation and certainly a lot of questions we want to answer. But you're right, it is unusual to have these. Now finally, right now, police did not have any background information on the suspect who was wounded to release. They're not sure exactly why he tried to flee from troopers. For now, reporting live, Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News.